What's up, gamers, and welcome to the next exciting episode of Bear Chester, the current going medieval playthrough here on the Bears and Beans channel. Welcome, welcome. Hope you guys are having a fabulous start of the week. Here we are in episode 45, leading us hopefully to episode 50 this Saturday for another live stream event. So fingers crossed that we can get there and that nothing crazy happens. I'm hopeful and I'm excited. So the big things that happened last go... A little quick recap, we finished the bridge in all of its beauty and glory, the bridge is complete. We also went ahead and upgraded all of our archers to crossbows and we've started the production of heavy crossbows so those who can wield them can switch over. We have a caravan that just entered right now so we'll go ahead and get GB over and bartering on that. As you can see, I have all the roofs up because I was taking a inventory of what buildings still need to be switched over to the clay shingling. So we're going to be doing that this episode. And let's do some trading real quick and then I'll dive into what else is left. So we're going to take all of those bad boys. Um, speaking of apple saplings, I found a like wild apple orchard, I guess you could say. So we're going to work our way up to that and get some more so we can fully fill in the courtyard. That'll be fantastic. All right, let's grab some more barley. Always grab some more beet seed. Yep, cabbage and carrot, always. Clay brick, definitely could use all of that. Black seed, nah, I think we're good there. <laughs> I think we're good there. Herbs, always grabbing some herbs. Let's see, anything else to get rid of? We got a bear rug incoming for Kinsey. Boar, deer, lots of goats. Ooh, rat, that's disgusting. Limestone brick, uh, I think we're pretty good there as well. All right, tallow. Let's dump a little of that over. Let's see if we can't get some of that out of the way. And I think linen is going to be the other big thing, because it doesn't look like he takes any clothing items. So let's just go ahead and uh, trade the crap out of some linen. Get as close as we can without going over, right? Yeah, that's good. Yeah, we kind of short-ended the deal. But they appreciate it. Mark everything for pickup. Got a good system going now. All of the oaks back here have all been chopped and replanted. So that's good. So off over here, you can see where I have ramps being built. There's this beautiful little apple, wild apple orchard that popped up. So we're going to build these up. We're going to get up there, hack all those out so we can get those saplings. The other thing is there's a little patch of willows right here, so I'm gonna take those out because we're gonna put a willow in the center of our little graveyard, cemetery, you know, whatever you wanna call it, here on the side of the chapel. So there's the chapel done in all of its beauty and glory. Right, looking fantastic. We're gonna build ourselves a little cemetery off to the side over here. The next big project now going forward it's going to be the Art and History Museum. Everybody is sound asleep right now. We've got the barn with lots of warmth out here for all of the sheep. Giant sheep farm run by Punk. Looks like Argo the cat has his own little quarters over there. We've got the... Yep, that's done. Alright, we've got the herb. Little herb bit right there. Nice long infirmary. The tavern with rooms above, bed and breakfast with rooms above, right? So this is our brewery building and then this is our kitchen building. We've got all of our smiths over here, armors and whatnot, metal works between these two buildings. Then we've got our, let's see, I believe this one is carpentry down here and then this one is clothing. 
So our tailor, if you will. Our little farmhouse out here for Miss Lovely, who runs the farms. And then our Oak Brethren Temple. And the Kenzie Crossing, our bridge that connects the Oak Brethren to everything else. And then you see the little glow right here. That connects our mine shaft, which then goes under and all the way around to here, where we're starting to fill in a little bit more so we can finish off the building here. But deep underground, right about here, you can't see it, but there's a treasury. So, yep, that's pretty much where we are now. Looks like the wall is almost done there. We've forbidden the wall over here. But we'll go ahead and allow it. So we're just going to allow everything. Get all that handled. They'll start cranking on that wall. Ah, yes. I see. I see. Somebody had made the comment about blocking off right here to prevent walkage. So we'll go ahead and add that in here as well. Maybe just... Now I'll have to go with the two. We'll just do like that, just a little quick four drop. And I saw the notice above, we had a goat that died. All right, well, the village is doing fantastic. Let's go ahead and lower ourselves back down so we can go control click to auto to a level. Also the page up and page down buttons work for transversing levels. Or if you have the wheel in your mouse, you can hold control and do it that way. Again, I know a lot of you know that, but for any of you newcomers to the series or to the channel or to the game, really. Which, uh, welcome. I highly recommend it. This game is fun. There's all kinds of new stuff coming. The big thing that I am super waiting for is the prisoner system. As well as I'm also gearing up for the ability to attack other settlements... So that's going to be super fun as well. And the rumor of siege weaponry. We get to have our own battering rams and trebuchets and whatnot. Just have a massive army of trebuchets and just demolish cities. <laughs> Go ahead and speed things up. Life moves on. It's looking fantastic. Ooh, there was one request. Actually, now before I forget. By Miss Kinsey. For her room, she would like a silver mirror. Which I think I have to make over here. Yes. Go ahead and make her a mirror. We'll get that handled for Miss Kinsey. Hopefully we can get all of this crack a lacking and you can move into your new quarters. Wouldn't that be something? It's already nice and toasty. Everything's all looking grand. Yo, my dude, what were you doing? Get over here and finish. Alright, just go ahead and grab it all. Alright, come on, you're right here. Get this one. Just go ahead and finish them. I want some willows so we can start planting. Ooh, okay, no empty spots. That is good to know. That explains a lot, actually. So, no empty spots. Let's go ahead and go down. Down to the deep. To the deep, deep. Oh, wrong way. the deepest parts yep it is the gratuitous amounts of meals that is taking up space here 
All right, but I want to be able to connect all of this. So right here we're at five. And then six, I believe, is this. Yeah, and that, or sorry, four and then three. Okay. So three, four is this level. And then that's where this all is. Yeah, in all of these areas, I want like an emergency. I think this will be the one to do it. So let's go ahead and remove that spot. And we'll deconstruct that little piece of floor. And then same thing here, we'll go ahead and remove that spot. And we'll deconstruct that little piece of floor. We'll build this out and under here, and then build out to here. Yep, and then same thing here. Oh, snap. Didn't mean to do that. All right, undo, undo. Ice, salt, okay, this is all the... That's what I meant to do. So this is well, just high for clear all for salt and then manufactured ice and then fermenting as well as stimulants. Okay. So there. And then we'll put one Come on. One right here in the middle. That's for just whatevs. But in this, we're going to remove this guy right here. That's where the ladder will be for this side. Okay. And then here, we'll go ahead and remove it right there. And same thing. So these are going to be the ladder points that are going to go down to access the tunnel system in the deep that will connect all of it together. We'll make sure that each of these areas, when you tunnel down, there will be little door sets with windows, right? So every fallback point within the tunnels is going to be defendable. That's the overall idea here. seeds in here. Although it does look like they are kind of starting to do a cleanup. And oh my gosh. Look at all of that iron. We have so much iron. That is ridiculous. It makes me happy. We have so much iron. Alright. The Heresy of the Rose is leaving. We're not really too fond of them, but we're willing to do business. And we can at least get this started. Oh, I forgot one. Alright, sweet. And then we can get this started. Right there, too. Okay. Okay. At least get a little bit added on more and more. Because the big thing there is going to be the, the second floor, which will be the art studio. So we can put an easel up there for paintings. We'll put in the stonemason up there. And we'll also put... That way, you know, it's carved stone statues and whatnot. And we'll put a tailor bench up there for making tapestries. Potentially rugs as well. We'll have that one be the rug. That way the one down here can just stick with clothing. I don't know. Or maybe just stick with tapestries. But then the whole right side is going to be stuff that we occur from... Or 
yeah, stuff we get from raids. And then over here is going to be all of the beautiful, flawless stuff our people make. And then we'll have a bunch of art in between. And then we're just going to start throwing up art pretty much in every room. All right, now for the old chapel, we're going to turn that into sort of a council chamber. So that is going to become the new war room. And then out here is going to be an armory. So we're going to take these and relocate them into here. Same with this one. Relocate them into here. And we'll throw in some backgammon, maybe? <laughs> I don't know. Who goes in a war room? Let's see. What all do we want to put in here? I mean, we have everything available to us now. Do we want to put in a fire pit? Doesn't look like it's the right size anyway. Let's go ahead and pause this. I think a fire pit with some chairs and stuff would be cool. Where's the fire pit? Where'd you go? Alright. Fire pits. Yeah, let's go with that one. So let's flip it. Yeah, let's go there. We'll grab the tables. Relocate them to each side of the fire pits. Maybe. Or we want them up against the walls here. Yeah, let's put them up against the walls here. And we'll throw in some chairs. Just some basic chairs. Right, like this is the... This is where the council meets. Oh yeah, that's like the, the meeting room. It's where it all goes down. And we'll take these rugs, we'll move them in here too. chairs up top in order for those to touch right it would have to be like that maybe just like that there we'll do that and then in here we can add more of like these, the armor stands, the mannequins, all that jazz. Oh no, we have like a flooring issue it looks like here. That's weird and random. Nothing up here. Huh. Just that little bit right there. Yeah, and those are staircase. Okay. That's weird. Okay, and then in here, we can throw down more of these.
They're just hammering the crap out of all of that, man. They mean business. I'm do one here. Like that, maybe? Let's take this. We'll copy it. Throw those here and here. Yeah, there we go. That works. Quick, easy little armory. Another additional spot for storage in the fortress, as well as the council chambers. At least that's what I like to think of it. It's an unofficial space. Really, it's just a spot for us to be able to have the cartography table, so we have region access. Which, right now, our influence is 100%. And here's why. Because we are under attack, ladies and gentlemen, by the philosophers of the natural order. The academics gathered like a storm of angry crows, their black gowns flapping comically <laughs> as they huddled, strategizing. Their great minds were entirely focused on wrecking Barchester, except for its books, which they coveted and meant to steal. Yeah, no, we're, uh, we're the smartest ones in the land. Get out of here. Okay, a couple archers, lots of marauders, okay. So it is battle time, ladies and gentlemen. 25 enemies have appeared. They're coming from the, what is that? Southwest? I have to assume north is up here. So this is north. So this is north, right? And never eat soggy waffles. So southwest. <laughs> cool, cool. Let's get everybody in. It is time. And everything's all well lit now, too. Except for one right there. Oh, and then these two up here. But yeah, everything's well lit. There shouldn't be any problem. Let's get dragon. Glitch. Samantha. Every time I see that name, sorry, but it reminds me of Frozen 2. He's like, Samantha? He's like, I don't even know a Samantha. We're gonna go ahead and close these ones. Oh, we know archers can try and do some pop shots. All right. Anyway, that'll be for a different time. Let's go ahead and grab Darth. And Lexi and Lovely. That's three, four, five. Six, seven. I believe Lovely is out of this. So let's grab them. We'll put them over here. That is what we needed to do. There we go. All right. And then we'll grab GB, Kenzie, the king, and the queen. We'll lock you guys in over here. The bulk of our force is right here, expecting them to come in from this side. Alright, we should be good to go, though. This is going to be awesome. Our first raid, first test of the bridge, and the queen is unconscious. What is going on, my lady? What is going on? Consciousness is down. She is tired as crap. I don't know why. We didn't keep her up at night. Well, that's unfortunate. We're down one right out the gate. Nope, your majesty. Get your booty butt up here. I have a feeling that a couple people are probably going to pass out on us here. Oh, get back in, dude. Get back in. Come on. Who is that? Glitch. Come on, bro. He's luring him in. He's the bait. He's like, oh, yeah, you want some of this? Yeah. All right, who the hell? Dude. Move your butt over here, bro. Cheese and rice, Becky. Come on, Socrates. 
Get it moving. We can't give you too much cover fire. But they're already making their way down. Come on, bro, run. Run, bro, run. Run, bro, run. He's like, <laughs> you can see him. His heavy breathing with every step he takes. Yeah, look, they're hot on his tail. All right, he's in. Oh, got him. Got him. Oh, having a whole group of crossbowmen is going to be epic. Come on, what you guys waiting for? Oh, here he comes. He's like, I've got this for king and country. Oh, he didn't even last two seconds. Oh, neither did he. Oh my gosh, it's gonna be a slaughter. He's like, no, I got it. I got it. Pop, pop, pop. Oh, 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 oh. We took out an adept archer so fast. This is glorious. I'm so happy right now. All right, Socrates. Since you were the dingus that took so long, your ass gets to come out and be bait. He's like, oh yeah, come and get me. Come and get this sweet meat. Oh, yep, here they come. Oh, man, and we are just popping off so fast. Oh, here comes another one. This Socrates just hanging out up there. Ay, caramba. Yeah, they just do not want to fight. Yeah, there goes another. And another. Yep, this bridge is like breaking the AI. They do not want to fight. I think more and more are starting to lure in now. They see Socrates just hanging out there. It's like, hey, let's go get this wise guy. Oh, there goes the queen. Hey, victory. It took him just too damn long. Darth. Dealt the most blows. Seven enemies died. All right, Socrates. You can get your booty back inside. Got him. Oh, got him. All right, now I need you guys to attack. This wolf. There we go. Yeah, Lexi, let's have you come up right here, girl. You guys. We're gonna sit here, we're gonna wait for anything that comes with these bodies. Like this, oh, I was gonna say like this dumb polecat. I'm pretty sure. Yep, she put her ass to bed. So wait, anything? It is night. Oh. Right there, let's get it. Oh, it's glitched into the body. Come on. Yeah, we got one wolf. Forget it. 
We got one wolf. That's fine by me. Man, those crossbows were fantastic. That thing did wonders for us. A beautiful, beautiful raid. And now leading into the world's longest autosave. I know, you guys are probably sick of that joke. Settlers are starving. Darth. Well, go get yourself something to eat, my dude. Queen is up there just zeezing. Alright, we're going to need a bunch more raw limestone, it looks like. So, question is, do we tap into a natural bit out here? Or do we maybe see if there's some below when we start tunneling? My money right now is on tunneling. Okay, so... This bit needs to be picked up. That bit was. That bit's good. That bit's good. I haven't figured out one for this yet. Okay, so let's let's say this for instance. Let's do that. It's gonna come down to there. Get the one below it. So that's where it'll enter. So let's keep going here. One, two, three. Bring it out of four. Another one, two, three. Bring it out of four, and another one, two, three, like that. Perfect. So then we'll get one, two, three here, three here, and oh, three here get those three, those three, and those three. Ooh, I wonder if I should move that one over one more. Probably should. Let's do that. So let's shrink it here and expand it there. And then this we're going to deconstruct. <laughs> Even though I literally just was like, yeah. But now we know. So now we moved it over one. So that's going to be that one right there. So that'll be bracketed, bracketed. So that's one, two. Okay, so then we go three. means this is going to be a bracketed one. Like that. Okay. It's bracketed, and this is the start of a one, two, three. Okay, I can get behind that. not do all of that for now. Let's just do that. Okay. We'll start growing the tunnels. Start connecting everything. That one is there. It looks like we're going to want to move it over. So that's a center, so here... So this is on a post. 
Oh, okay, so that could work in our favor. So this is a post bit. Alright, so if we went there, that's going to be the post bit. So, this one is 2, 3. So post. See, I'm doing this just for marking. Post, 1, 2, 3. 1, 2, 3. Post, and it would be right there. So this would be a bit here, then we'd have one, two, three. We'd have a bit, and then another one, two, three. So we're gonna want to move it down one. So we're gonna want it here. Okay. Probably should have done this ahead of time, but we live and learn. Damn it. This needs to go away. This needs to be deconstructed, then copied over here. And then this bit expanded back to there. And then this bit mined out when it's done. Okay, perfect. We'll cancel all of that. So those will be choke points. Amongst all of the beauty, of course. One, two, three. Well, maybe we move this up one. Maybe we want it on the wall. Right? That's what we decided. We got one, two, three, and then wall. One, two, three, wall. One, two, three, wall. Yeah, but this is on a turn. So it's one, two, three. So wall. So we want it on this one. Okay, so we'll move it up one. Okay, so that one will get moved up one. Alright, so never mind. You are not getting deconstructed. You, however, are going to grow here. And then you're going to shrink there. So this is the one that's getting deconstructed. Alright. It's also it can line up down below with the fortress. I promise. There is a purpose here. Okay. That should be it. That should be good. At least we're getting those first two done. Sweet. So we'll wait for them to mine all that out. Hopefully there's some limestone in there. I mean, they'll probably tell us here. I see lots of dirt. Dirt, 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 dirt. Okay, it's all dirt. Yeah, we tried. Any of this limestone? Oh, there's some clay. Lots of clay down in here. Oh, wow. Yeah, there's a whole clay pocket up in here. Yeah, look at all that. Clay, 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 clay. Yeah, there's a whole clay pocket right here. Lots more clay over there. Anything down in here? Oh, I saw, what was that? Limestone. There's a vein right here. You can almost see like a shadow bit right there. Kind of see the little cracky shadow. That's all limestone and stuff. So is there a building we need to work towards? No, it's basically down below all of this. Yeah, you can kind of see where it's at. So it'd be kind of right up under here. That's where that limestone pocket is. And then there's a huge clay pocket, like, right here. Alright, well, we'll let them keep working on that. We'll check in on it from time to time. But bravo, we had a successful raid. That's so fun. It's exciting. Were they able to build this out here? No. Alright. Um, Dragon, stop whatever you're doing. Come prioritize this. I know it's outside the wall, and I apologize for that. Ooh, but they did get a lot of this done. Yeah, they're cranking through that wall. Hell yeah. We're going to be very well protected against any kind of trebuchet action. 
which weirdly, knock on wood, has not come yet. The last couple raids have just been tons of archers and marauders of various sorts. But weirdly, very weirdly, we haven't had any trebuchets. But again, knock on wood, knock on wood. Don't want that to become a thing. Hmm. We're maybe going to need an overflow area for... Some of the ores seems that we're running out of space. Running out of space for a lot of stuff. Again, that's why I'm making the giant underground tunnel storage system. here that nothing collapses. Right, one, two, three, and then one, two, three. Losing ice blocks, but we're heading into summer, so that's fair. like that and we'll go up to here and we're going to put a ladder going straight down the ladder is going to be facing away oop auto save Yes? Away. Well, because when they come down, that's the side they're going to come down on. So do we want to... Yeah, because we want to fall back to the fortress. That's the... That's the idea here. Okay, there we go. And we did this so they can shoot through. So there'll be the supported doors on the sides like that. So they can still come and go around the ladder but it can still prevent any kind of raiders. The ladder will obviously block, and they can fire, still fire their crossbows through that at any raiders on the other side. You know what, just cause, let's throw one of these behind the ladder, just in case. We're going to have the same situation here. We're going to do braided doors. We'll go in the opposite direction. And the ladders. Well, this way is going to connect, I think, back around. Okay, so this one will... We'll do that way as well. Okay, there we go. So and then one, two, three, like that. Actually, I'm not gonna do that one. Same thing here. I'll take that out. I'm gonna put dirt back in there. I'll just leave it as a natural. Then 
we can put little supports. Yeah, we, we don't need to. We have the supports of the doors and stuff going in right there. Alright, beautiful tunnel system. Man, they are nailing that. It's all going to be storage. We're just going to keep this thing going forever. No dirt. Alright, I can get all the dirt and shit out of here. But hey, buddy, we're good to go. Oh, we need one more. All right. Three there. We can do three here, three here, three here, here, and here. As well as doing a three there. There and then one, two, three, and then here. Sweet. Sweetness. We'll have plenty more storage for our five bajillion packaged meals. He's exhausted. GB. He's been working those pipes. Must be plum tuckered, as they say. Room created chamber. Ah, oh, her bedroom is done. Miss Kenzie. Her bedroom is complete. This here belongs to Kenzie. So Miss Kenzie. Come over here to your new room, girl. Let's get dragon. Yeah. Let's get you up and glitch. Let's get you up. You guys need to come finish this for her. We made the mirror. No, no mirror has been made yet. All right. Oh, wrong button. Sorry. We'll go ahead and get. There we go. The boys came in and got you nice and toasty. We'll get the mirror and the bear rug settled up here for you. Let's go ahead and bump that up. But while they're waking up and going about their day, making that mirror and bear rug for Miss Kenzie, as well as finishing up the underground tunneling, I think this is as good a spot as any to go ahead and call it for this episode. So I want to thank you guys so much for stopping by and joining me on yet another epic adventure. We had a great raid. Our new crossbows definitely paid off as we slaughtered the incoming philosophers, if you will. We made great progress on the chapel, completely finishing it off. Got the room all squared away. Graveyard is still under works, but that's all right. We don't have any bodies yet for it anyway. We got wild apple trees being chopped and moved in. Everything's looking up, Bearchester. I'm excited. Moving forward. So that brings episode 45 to a close. 
Hope you guys had as much fun as I did. As always, go ahead and hit that like button. Drop me a comment. Let me know how I'm doing, how I'm not doing. And if you haven't already, please smash that subscribe. Join the ever-growing community here at Bears and Beans. And if you'd like to further stay in the know as to what's going on, head over to Instagram and follow me at Bears and Beans Gaming. I follow all gamers back. And for some additional support for the channel, there's a link in the description for my Patreon, or you can become a member here on YouTube and get access to all kinds of behind-the-scenes stuff, unedited footage, early episodes, and even have a villager named after you. All right, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for stopping by. You guys are an amazing and wonderful community. I definitely couldn't do this without you, and I love you for it. So I'll see you in the next one.